Okay, so um, the next session is developing this particular section, right? So let's jump into the code. Um, so I'm going to call that section people. I'm going to call that section people. So we are done with the list item, so we'll minimize that. And we'll call this class of course we are going to include a break and then introduce another break and then title but i think before we introduce the title i think the title is supposed to be in the middle so we are going to do of course title but we are also going to do width of let's say 80 and then margin auto margin auto and i will do center text so let's copy what we have here inside here and then let's add the font font of that so if we go back to what we are currently working on which is this one and we refresh have that okay so you know what let me reduce the width to let's say 70 let's refresh good so the next thing is for us to have this so this is going to be a to be in a row okay it's going to be in a row so instead of introducing another break i'm just going to introduce break lines and then of course we want a break at the bottom then we introduce our row so inside our row we are going to have um, We are going to have our colon of six, colon of six, with some padding, padding, or let's say ten. No, twenty is too much. So ten. But then we are also going to put this div inside. Um, another div that we are going to partition. So we say margin. And we place this inside. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, good. Let's copy and paste this. And inside this, I'm going to have a div with width, of course, 100. But the height is going to be of, let's say, 50. 50 view height and then we are going to set the background for this um, and I think that's it so we are actually working on this one this particular one it's a gentleman smiling from his car so let's add the style to include the image so I'm going to call this Sorry, background image goes to URL. Images slash. So that gentleman is actually feature one, as you can see here. So let's call it feature that's one dot jpg. So if we save this, I will go back and we refresh what we are working on. We have that, but I think it's way too big. So inside our style, let's define uh, a height of 45.
Okay, so instead of assigning this as 50, we'll assign it as height of 45. So if I refresh this, yeah, that looks good. So we are going to do same for the test that we are going to input. So we're going to have uh, weight of 100%, height of 45. And then that's it. And then over here we are going to have, of course, title. But then we are going to make this a flex. So flex colon justify content center, and then align items. To this section and copy this and then let's paste it there sorry Let's refresh and see what we have. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to copy everything, but unfortunately I did. So I'm supposed to copy that. So let me take this off. Right, so if I refresh, we have this. All right. Anyways, I just remember that I need to. You see, from this particular, from the original, there are some CSS background colors which we haven't defined yet. So let's define it. So let's come back to where we had where we define our CSS background colors and let's define the rest so let's say green green background goes to sorry green BG goes to background color of green background color of green and then we are going to have um, light green which also goes to background color of light green there is light yellow BG and this also goes to light yellow and then there is light black
and there is some white, I don't know. Some white VG. I don't know why we named it that bad. There you go. So we have some white VG. So let's call this. Now what you are seeing here are actually a representation of variables that we are using. So the variables are defined at the top inside the root. So these are the variables. So instead of me typing RGB and these um, figures, at the background section, I'm just doing background, colon, and then the green. As this which is going to insert RGB and whatever value there is so um, if you don't if you are wondering why I'm doing this that's the main reason okay so enough of this let's go back here and um, let's set this width to, let's say 90 Let's say let's set it to margin of two two. So if I refresh, there you go. But I don't like the font. The font is not looking too great. And I'm going to call this some white VG. So I'll add the fonts, fonts. Refresh. Okay, there we go. It's looking good. This looks good. So the next thing is to introduce the test. So div class of Helvetica font Helvetica. Actually, I'll just do subtest because we've already defined this as so. So let's grab the test from here. And then let's put the test inside here. And this is also going to take the same um, CSS classes as the sibling so if